what's up guys so i found like a really trippy video dude of uh some little kid like playing with his mom's cell phone and shit in his bedroom right and uh after the kid goes to sleep and shit you know everything is still normal his mom goes to like check the camera you know like see what what her kids have been doing you know make, taking selfies and shit like that well they catch some crazy ass shit on the fucking cell phone camera. Mind you, it's Mother's Day in the Philippines, right? Well, uh, but you know, if I, let's let's just get into it. You guys will fucking see this shit. It's crazy, yo. One woman in the Philippines discovered this on Mother's Day weekend. This shit is creepy. When her son took a selfie video, and the ghost of her mother, his grandmother. Popped in. Oh my god, dude. I can't fucking look at it. Ugh, dude, it gives me chills, bro. Mother's Day weekend, 2018, in San Jose, the Philippines. While Teresa Ocampo cooks dinner, her young son entertains himself by taking selfie videos with her phone. Ugh. Mind you guys, this ain't a reaction. I've already seen this shit before. I just want to show you guys it, cause I, I guarantee you guys haven't seen this crazy ass shit. But uh, yeah, dude, maybe we can all yeah, like get down to the bottom of this shit. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, let's get back and do it. Hours later, with her son in bed, Teresa nonchalantly reviews the selfies and sees this. Oh my god! In dude. the foreground, <laughs> her son. <laughs> and right next to him, her mother, who had died. A year earlier. Those the fucking eyes, though, bro. Shot for several seconds. The boy seemingly unmoved by her appearance behind him. Before the footage ends, the photo to the right shows her oh, mother when she was alive. It's so eerie, dude. And the resemblance is undeniable. Like, bruh. My name is Teresa Ocampo. <laughs> I examined it closely. The face really was that of my mother. I was so scared that I couldn't talk anymore. This clip was super creepy to me. I can't even imagine my grandmother looking dead and gray with these huge black eyes. My God, that's the scariest thing I would ever imagine. No shit, though, dude. I'm gonna blow it up for you guys. This clip was super Look at creepy it! to me. <laughs> oh my God! My grandmother looking. Dead and gray with these huge black eyes. My God, that's the scariest thing I would ever imagine. Good grief, bro. This is the kind of clip that I find both mind blowing and chilling. Not only does chilling to this say the woman, least, this grandmother appear tangible, but she also looks somewhat decayed with sunken eyes, and there's even the appearance of veins on the side of her face. That's creepy. The face that moves. That's into creepy. The frame no He's shit, very dude. Unnatural looking. The fucking the eyes, dude. Fact, the eyes. The ghost face that we're seeing. It's probably the the most up close Ugh. and personal ghost we've ever seen. I mean, the face is only a few inches away from the the screen that's monitoring and recording this. If a spirit is imprinting their image onto recording media. Um, it's not going to be vaporous. It's not going to be see-through. It's going to be solid. It looks like a three-dimensional solid person next to that little boy. And a side-by-side -side comparison, you know, they're a pretty good match. Except that guy must be a paranormal expert. Difference. <laughs> her eyes did appear to be sunken in a portion of this video. It's almost like she was manifested up to a certain extent, and then her eyes started to hollow out. A lot of people that, that have seen insane. apparitions mention that the apparition's eyes tend to be hollowed or blacked out, almost sunken in the face like a skull. The idea of the sunken eye socket or the gaunt look in a ghost or a ghoul, if you will, it goes back to the times <laughs> of uh, burial preparation and, and just dealing with dead bodies in general. The body decomposes, its eyes sink in, its, its cheeks sink in. And that's sort of the look we're getting. I think it's kind of fucked up. He called her a ghoul, though. You know, she's just visiting her grandchild on Mother's Day, yo. Here, when you first watch this video and find out exactly what's going on, you might be scared. You might be terrified. But 
the fact of the matter is, look at the boy. He seems just fine. If he's feeling the presence, it's of something familiar. It's a family member. It's someone who is there to protect him, to watch over him. But Teresa's son's reaction, uh, or lack yeah. thereof, is not as surprising when you consider where they are living. The belief in a spirit world is so deeply ingrained in Filipino culture. It's not a question of whether or not we believe in it. It is real. Because we believe that deceased ancestors never really leave us, even when they cross over to the other side. All they did was move on into the spirit realm, which is all around us and constantly interacting with us. I believe it, dude. You can see that because the little boy, he's innocently taking this selfie video and his deceased Lola just shows up behind him. He's not afraid. He doesn't react at all. It's simply just a thing that happens. It's not surprising to me that this Lola showed up on Mother's Day to remind her family, you know, don't forget me. She was always in our dreams. She'd always appear. There was something she wanted to tell us. She really didn't want to leave us. That's crazy, dude. That shit is crazy. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Yeah, what do you guys think of it? Let me know down in the comment section, you know. Uh, pretty crazy fucking shit. But, uh, yeah, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe to your boy. Yeah, guys, I don't, I don't know what to think of that shit, man. Mind-blowing. It's like the closest close-up ghost footage ever, like, captured. Has to be, dude. Has to be. But, yeah, guys, that's it. We out of here. Peace. I ain't fresh off the plane, I check my chains and all my luggage You think that designer make you different, but it doesn't You don't know the difference between getting rich and buzzing Creeping in that Jeep with GR3, yeah, that's my brother If she think it's something, I can drop her it like it's nothing No, it's fine, I'll find another hole, that diamond's diamond, diamond.